Let's see, should I add some stuff to this? I could also turn this into a huge hammer. <laughs> then we would have two of them, would that make sense? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Or this could be like Thor's sledgehammer with a long stem and a, and a hammer thing, stone, whatever at the top. <laughs> But I also kind of want to do some scenery over here with the cutaway view in between all the mountains. So maybe I'll get to work on that next.
Alrighty then, I think I'm done decorating the, uh, what you call it here, the cutouts or uh, ravines, I guess they could be called. Uh, where to start? Where to start? Let's do the winter area over here first. It's in between these mountains, so it makes sense to have snow down there. We got uh, this building here, but that was already there. And some of this stuff like the trees, but here I added this uh, igloo village with little pathways going to all the igloos and they got some frozen flowers and snowmen and stuff. And then this area has a bunch of snowflakes and uh, <coughs> snow flowers or ice flowers or whatever. Because I can't really fit much else underneath the, uh, what is this ride called? The Ghost Rider here. Although this uh, queue line here has a little bit of a glue on it. And I also changed the color to blue from yellow. Moving on over here where we have a bunch of abstract stuff for the Ghost Riders. Uh, but to match the Ghost Riders station thingy. And then this stretch has a bunch of orange flowers underneath. Again, this ride is mostly in the way, so I could only fit really low scenery, so low that some of them go down to negative uh, 0 0.5 here. And I figured out uh, how to change this. You can just click on it, it'll glow from uh, absolute to real world or whatever. If you compare it to uh, this one here, those say zero. And so if I go to zero, they're all visible. If I go to negative uh, 5.5, they're gone. But as an abstract value, it's 14 or absolute, I guess. This could be absolute zero here. And it's negative seven in the real world scale. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, real unit scale. Anyway, that side has the orange flowers and some, uh, what are those called? Let's see, trees. <laughs> They're called just trees and these are just bushes. I guess they could be topiaries or shaped uh, bush tree thingies. And then this side has some um, fountains and statues and flowers. And I also colored this part uh, green on the landscape to match the uh, little bushes and whatnot better and then let's go over to here where, we, uh, where I continue with these trees some of them are already there and in between we got skulls and gazebos and here we have some black and white flowers and added some of these uh, wooden looking log cabin style wall thingies those roofs and where's the wall down here let's raise the thing a little bit to see the roofs there and over here we have the rusted type of uh, uh, roof thing and more gazebos and skeleton skull thingies and of course a bunch of cannons there and skull and crossbones and it added a sign there that says Magic Kingdom, because this is the Magic Kingdom area over here. And this here is called the Pirate Pass. Maybe I should rename this pass here into something wintry. Currently the sign here says Winter Wonderland, which is the whole area up here. And is there anything else over here? Not really. More roofs there and some uh, iron grate looking uh, fences. Where are they in here? The, that one. Railings, I guess they're called. Let's move that a little bit upward. That building was there mostly already along with the, with the spinning uh, gears. Then over here most of it is hidden by the ride, but we got some flames and cannons and crossbones and skeletons with top hats, more gazebos and little statues there, and rusted roofs and rusted walls. Oh yeah, and uh, these uh, stone walls here are new, and they got some rusted uh, roofs on them as well. That's probably all the stuff in here. Most of it is not really visible unless you use the cutaway view and go into a specific height to see it, but it's there. 
Also some minor additions over here, added this waterfall thing that goes all the way up to there. And some uh, water spouts here and there. And I think those two water spouts are new as well, because you can't really... Well, that one is visible, even in the normal view. 